Just how frustrating was it for you guys? It seemed like every time you guys kind of got within striking distance, Wisconsin just had an answer. Yeah, um, I don't know. I just right now everybody's just pretty upset. We know uh, Wilson went off on us, um, and that kind of you know we kind of put uh, try to take it to heart to get uh, you know stops on him because he was feeling it early. And uh, like you said, every time we got you know down to three, down to two, they always had an answer. And it's all about just playing smart. I don't think we were playing smart. Best part of it. Is it just sort of a you just have to kind of tip your hat too to a guy who just had a great game? I mean, he I mean he did he had a, he hit open shots and that's the problem. You know he was getting he was getting too open. Uh, so we were just not doing the right things over screens. You know we were going under a lot and uh, he hit he hit open shots. There's nothing to do with that. Is there any silver lining that it appears you guys do have a tournament bid wrapped up? Uh yeah, but um, you know that'll come Sunday. Uh, you know whatever happens happens, but. Uh, Right now, everybody just kind of, you know, kind of down on the weather. You know, it's it's a team we could have beat. Um, we feel like we should have beat them, uh, and we just came up short. Sir, can you talk a little bit about just the process of regrouping a little bit? You know, you guys have a week at least before you're going to play your next game, yeah. and you, you won't know until Sunday, obviously, who you're going to play. But um, just talk about how how you guys are going to regroup a little bit. Um, you know, you know, playing playing tough, and uh, you know, all that. You know, we were playing good back. Basketball. It's just whether we're playing smart or not. You know, we were, we were playing very good, uh, very smart basketball today. Uh, like I said earlier, you know, Wilson was getting wide open looks, um, and you know, things just didn't go our way. So it's all mental right now. We gotta, we gotta get in and, and watch the film and see what we, see what kind of mistakes we made, and then, and then take it to the court. What do you feel did happen? Well, I mean, it's not. I don't even. I couldn't even tell you that if I would. If someone would ask me. I mean, it's just part of the game. Yeah, we do. They did a good job defending it, but we also had a great, a lot of great opportunities getting in the lane and getting in the paint. Uh, that's something that we really take pride in doing. What made it so difficult with them today? With you know, last time you played and they played a slower tempo and they kind of forced you guys to play at that. They started out uncharacteristically fast for Wisconsin. I mean, it, just, it started out back and forth. Both teams started making a lot of shots, and uh, they just kind of got that up and down tempo. And, uh, they're good basketball players, and I, I know they're, they're well coached, but at the same time, they know how to get up down the court. And, uh, they made a lot of big shots. And a guy like Rob Wilson, how do you game plan for a guy who's averaging 3.1 points a game, but then today drops 30? Oh, he's been playing great lately. I mean, he's been doing that for the last couple games for him. And, uh, he's really stepped up and uh, made a lot of big shots for him. Cody, Cody went about 10 minutes without really having too much effect on offense. Now, in, and in that time, you guys didn't shoot at any three-pointers. I mean, how much does he help create those three-pointers when he's getting the ball Definitely in the post? When, when you play through him and, and play off of him, he opens up a lot because he draws so much attention, especially in the post. And I uh, thought we did a good job getting him the ball, but obviously you can never not get him the ball enough because he does so many good things with it. And uh, it's just another thing. We just got to continue to regroup, refocus, and uh, we'll be fine. It seems like you guys made an adjustment, and he got it, I think, on three or four straight possessions. Did Coach say something to you guys about continuing? I mean, it's always, well? it's always a, a point of ours to get the ball inside, and uh, we just got to did a good job defending them. I mean, they played physical, and uh, we just had to find the angles and create angles to get on the ball, and uh, once we started doing that, we got on the ball, and we had a lot of good things happen. Not the outcome that you wanted to obviously, but the fact that you guys finished the season 25 and you're going to win so much, you're going to feel good about where you guys are. I mean, when it's all said and done, yeah, we'll feel good. Right now, I mean, there's, there's that sour, that this, this taste, and I know it's like losing, and uh, I mean, we hate it, and uh, we just got to find a way to regroup and refocus, and uh, it's nice knowing that we'll live to see the other day, but at the same time, uh, we had a lot of goals as a team, and uh, I mean, that's just so the main point. We just got to refocus and uh, come off the bottom and fight. Matt, being uh, a senior and one of the leaders on this team, do you take that personally? You're going to have to help this, this team regroup and get ready for a game a week from now? Yeah, I mean, that's just another step along the way, and uh, I mean, we've got a great group of guys that you can't just say it's the seniors. I mean, we've all played so many basketball games here, and uh, we know what it takes to win, and we just got to continue to do that. I mean, we'll get back in the gym. Our coaches will have us ready and uh, focused, uh, and then we'll move on here this next week. Add it up to where you guys are usually used to playing. 
Um, yeah, they just came out and started playing fashion. I know what we usually do. Uh, we should play, play the short hands, but just play every day hand down with the people I've had. Well, you guys did a pretty good job containing Taylor for the most part. Um, you know, he got some points late on the free throw line, but um, because of the help you had to provide on him, do you think that's part of the reason that Wilson went off the way he did? Just all the attention that Taylor demands? Yeah, that's part of it. Uh, but, you know, the guy made open shots, and you know, if you're open, we're going to bounce back. We just got in this league, that's what he had to do. And I thought he did a good job of it, obviously. And, uh, you know, once he made a couple, his confidence started going, and then it's tough to guard at that point. What do you guys have to do to get refocused and ready to go on a run here this next week? We just got to learn from this game, but also put it behind us. Um, you know, we can't dwell on the loss knowing that we have another game coming on, but at the same time, we have to learn from it, learn from our mistakes. The fact that you have the opportunity to selection Sunday night, this isn't the end of the season. How, how much is satisfying? Because I know this isn't satisfying, but how, how much hope does that give you that at least something to look forward to? It's definitely something to look forward to, um, something that we've been, that we've been playing on um, ever since the season started. Something that's one of our goals every year. Um, it's, it's definitely um, nice little solo goal like that, uh, but it's definitely will be the uh, uh, starting point. We can turn the sticks and practice and you know, continue to do what we do and uh, you know, watch on Sunday and find out who we're playing. Johnny Anderson. Well, I mean, it's very disappointing, especially, uh, you know, we all want to win that one for me, but uh, uh, I mean, going four years without beating Wisconsin really hurts, but uh, I think uh, we just got to watch the film, we find out what our mistakes were, and, you know, get better from watching the film and just you know, get ready for the NCAA tournament. When you see that film, you're going to see a lot of open shots. It seemed like not only Wilson was open, but it just seemed like they all had open shots all day yeah. long. Yeah, there was a lot of open shots. I mean, it started with Kasser hitting like two or three open threes to start the game. And uh, uh, maybe it's, I think they drove and had our defense in rotation a little bit. So uh, we just got to work on, you know, getting the hand up and, you know, getting guys uncomfortable with the three point line. Okay. 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 The fact that you have something to look forward to now with Selection Sunday, I, I know this isn't satisfying, but how, I guess it's something uh, I mean, Yeah, it's a lot different. I mean, usually when we lose in the Big Ten tournament, we're sitting here and, you know, and everybody's going home and, you know, but uh, now we just got to watch the film and get better and find out on Sunday who we're going to play. And just counting today, you could have won with five in a row, eight or nine coming in, so you uh, yeah, I mean, the way we've been playing is been pretty well. I think, uh, you know, going hot into the tournament is going to be really good for us. But, um, you know, he's got to continue to get better. And, you know, this was a tough loss for us. But we got to watch the film and find out what our mistakes were and just get better from it. And the ultimate competitor, even though Wisconsin's had your number, you'd probably love to see him again sometime. <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely. I'd love to get one more shot at him. Wisconsin plays such a unique style. Obviously, they're a very physical team. Um, they kind of take the action to to the to the opposition. Uh, Do you feel like it helps you to play such a physical opponent right before the NCAA tournament to kind of get you ready for the intensity that's going to be there at the next level? Here? Uh yeah, definitely. I mean, uh, coach said it. You know, every team that's going to be in the tournament from now on, you know, they've gotten there being physical, and playing great basketball. So uh, you know, that's that's how we got in the tournament, and uh, we just got to be physical. And I think. This is a big step for us. You know, it's a learning process, and uh, you now we just got to get to get to the next game. Being a senior, and you know, this has been your first time in an NCAA tournament. What's this week going to be like for you? Is it just going to be? Is it going to be butterflies? Is it just going to be? You just want to get out there and see what happens. What's what's this going to be like? You think? Um, I'm just thinking about getting better and thinking about uh, getting that first win. Uh, you know, I don't think I don't think we're going to take it any differently than preparing for a regular game. But uh, you know, everyone knows that the NCAA tournament is a big step. Stage, and that's something I've been wanting to do ever since I came to IU. So, you know, we're going to give it our all out there and uh, you know, correct our mistakes and play physical. Next time.